my fellow citizens of all nations. Right now I'm going to talk about the way of the samurai. In other words, Hakagure. This book is um, not what, you, what would you expect it to be. And it has really dangerous ideology within it. And you may be one of those people that um, admires this um, samurai culture generally. Uh, and these warriors and respects this warrior spirit of the samurai and I do too I do respect the warrior spirit as well but what we have to understand is that this is written by a single human being specific human being uh, which never actually experienced a war and battlefield or never went on the battlefield and it's very important to note it because this book is filled with idealistic conversation unlike um, book of five rings this is uh, which is written by legendary samurai Miyamoto Musashi this is um, influenced by you know the like uh, no unrealistic expectations things uh, and the uh, field with um, very certain very dangerous uh, things which I'm going to explain as well and obviously there are some interesting lessons in this book that can be taken and I will mention that as well but to start and to start conversation about this book without touching these dangerous aspects like ridiculously dangerous aspect of Hakagore uh, would not be right simply and let's start it basically. The master, uh, and this is by the way the edition of the, the book. So if you wonder it, you can check it out later. Um, the master essentially represents a god according to Yamamoto Tsunemote. And who is Yamamoto Tsunemote? He is born during the peaceful period. There are no wars. And you can feel his melancholy and desire toward that bloodshed and war. You can literally feel that uh, as well. But it's, it's written at, at the same time very patriotic where a way which kind of blinds your reason. But let's get back to the topic. Master. Master in this book essentially represents the God. The God that has to be obeyed. Seriously, for real. The, the master, in this case, represents what in Western culture, Jesus. As an example, as a God, let's say. You know, because in Western culture, it's like, okay, you have to think about Jesus, etc. Here, human being represents, like, actual human being replaces the God's role. And it's given there that you have to think about all the time about your master, guard your master, this and disregard your own judgment of what is good and what is evil and uh, place those judgments in the hand of your master. Essentially, this is what it says directly in the book. And it's a first chapter. And essentially tells a warrior, retainer, one that serves the master, so, to think about the, your master and well-being and, and put your master first. And think about him all the time. And this is obviously dangerous. To, like, to put human being in the place of like absolution and disregard your own judgment. And like, so I was asking, where is common sense here? And this is like reading. And he literally says it that you have to disregard the common sense. Who cares it? Be like, and yeah, and it's like, okay, there is no common sense here in this uh, thinking. And this thing, at the same time, there is um, the little moment I've noticed, which, which kind of contradicts itself. And here's how. It mentions that just like the samurai or the warrior should be thinking about his master all the time and etc., so does woman needs to be thinking about his, not master, but his husband. But it's kind of contradiction obviously because if you put master in this role 
then why would you um, be like uh, the woman should be thinking about his husband? Because in that in this explanation, then woman should be thinking about not his husband but his master's husband's master. But that's way it would imply the obvious different thing that woman should share its bed with the master so it, it, it the brainwashing of this ideology could not work in this level and i will mention by the way in the, so in the very great movie which represents this downside of hakagura where is this what's wrong with it well it presents very well but uh, you know the, the brainwashing already doesn't work well because it already tells the master to hey um Place your female, uh, your female should belong to master. They, that's like stretching it all too far. But it's okay, you, as a man, you should be thinking about your master, you should disregard your judgment of good and evil. Now, when this is the context, it explains these things. It's just, and at the same time, uh, he starts to then tell uh, stories and talks about compassion and at the same time talks about to be fanatical fan to become fanatical warrior and to disregard common sense and to be fanatical which is contradictory and i'm thinking about like what is there this his understanding of compassion like this is essentially his understanding of compassion is like to cut head of like thousands tens of thousands of people that's all that's a compassion for him that's how it seems at last. Like, but what is compassion to him then? And sometimes it's like to become fanatical. And no wonder this um, this is very like this is ultimate brainwashing. And what it's essentially what it does is that it doesn't matter existence of individual. To individual in this ideology means nothing. It's a master. That decides everything. It's a master that's okay. I'm your master. I'm telling you, you should whatever to do to do that thing. You should disregard your judgment of good and evil and just execute that thing. It's a build and hierarchy. And in hierarchy, the ultimate thing that matters is the the above one. The the common like the below people have no what's sort of real power or influence in this ideology. According to him. The way he explained, expressed these things uh, here and here, I mean, in this book, obviously. And now, uh, let's talk about seppeku as well. It's essentially committing suicide in most brutal way. It's like cutting yourself, you're so much, and somebody else will cut your head off after you finish that painful thing. Like Shogun or whatever would just order... Um, have a right, essentially, or somebody above hierarchy, essentially, should be in above hierarchy. Or just commit seppuku, just essentially commit suicide. For It can be like, for, for even no, no reasonable reason. Uh, and people that will be actually willing to, and here's what's wrong here. People that actually will be willing to do this thing are great people, courageous people. They are not criminals at all, it's also, also the form of punishment. The evil people will run away from fun, that punishment or rebel or try to kill him. Would not let, essentially, would not commit suicide. This, this way. The good, it's, it's the good people that would do it, not evil ones. So essentially, it generally tells great, honorable people to kill yourself. And, and that's, these, people, these people are loyal and execute that order. And there's plenty of stories about honorful people that committed suicide this way. Essentially, the, what's this? this is, you are telling an unearthful, great people in the, your own nation, your own country to just commit suicide? Oh, courageous people, you are telling that people to do that? The one of the greatest people. It's just, just power then th think about it. One of the greatest people. And True, like, you, and it's, it's like somebody's like, hey, commit suicide for whatever reason, because I'm your master. You know what? If you want me to commit suicide, stick a, come down from your whatever place you are. Take your sword. I will take mine and let's fight each other to death and let's see which one will die. That would be the way, not the one that just commit suicide. No, like, because that person is as well human. 
that person is really, I mean, and the movie I mentioned, it's a ghost dog, the way of the samurai. The weird movie that presents this idea of like the master is just human, but you essentially this ideology puts master in, in uh, place of God, essentially being that cannot be wrong. And now there is this um, thing I mentioned. Uh, this is the culture essentially that, um, that represents here a culture that only values um, brutalism and killing and only thinks about just killing, not even advancing or etc. Yeah, obviously, the, the way of summarize found in test this is a direct saying. But here, here's another thing how this uh, ideology essentially it divides these things. And here's what it says Having only, it's the direct quote, having only. Um, other things, which, by the way, which I mentioned, are you can find uh, the things in reading this book, but they're not exact quotes, but they're pretty close. And so I didn't write it down because this book is small and I could remember it. Having only wisdom and talent is the lowest tier of usefulness. End of the quote. Essentially, having wisdom and talent is the lowest tier of usefulness. Just pause here and just think about it. What this ideology states. Wisdom and talent. To this ideology is the lowest tier of usefulness. The, the, the highest usefulness is just to be blind for the loyal. That's all. This is what it, this ideology respects. And yeah, pretty much. And uh, the check that movie, The Ghost of the Way of the Summary, like, there is this very interesting movie, be surprised. I won't, I, won't, I won't tell you anything about that movie. Just watch it. If you are truly interested in this thing and you truly want to understand this idea, I'll read this book. You analyze independently yourself what I've just like, uh, explained here. Like, think about yourself. And now I will kind of explain some of the good things that is mentioned in this book, if we can call it good things, because in, in context, it can be com understood in a completely different way. But let's go. Okay. There is an... Uh, as well, I will tell you the story soon, which I found memorable, which also shows um, the way of the samurai. But you know what? Let me tell you this uh, really, really this um, story right now. And after that, we can just go on this interesting. Let's start with this story. Basically, it's about husband and wife. A man by the name of Takagi got into an argument with three farmers in the neighborhood, was soundly beaten out in the fields, and returned home. His wife said to him, haven't you forgotten about the matter of death? Definitely not, he replied. His wife then retorted, at any rate, a man dies only once, of the various ways of dying, dying of diseases, being cut down in battle, sepic or being beheaded, to die ignominiously would be a shame, and went outside. She soon returned, carefully put the two children to bed, prepared some torches, dressed herself for the battle after nightfall, and then said, When I went out to survey the sand a bit earlier, it seemed that the three men went into one place for discussion. Now it is the right time. Let's go quickly. So saying, they went out with the husband in the lead, burning torches and wearing short swords. They broke into their opponent's place and dispersed them. Both husband and wife slashing about and killing two of the men and wounding the other. The husband was later ordered to commit sepakum. Just this story, just have this in your mind, just think about it yourself, analyze this thing. It's really kind of, it's all interesting, because it shows a lot of things about this ideology. And since I've said that, I'll talk about the positive stuff, uh, things as well, obviously. The positive thing about this ideology is this. The reality of this, and it is said here that, in the book, that in ancient times there had this uh, saying that life is just a dream, and this is awakening from the dream. It's a very interesting thing. 
and the reality of the this essentially here is the this everyday reality and they think about this etc and they are disciplined because of it because they expect to die every day they don't know when they will die so they are disciplined they have self-care take care of themselves they're preparing for this and they uh, it talks about their importance of discipline etc which is um, self-discipline being able to overcome yourself as a power superpower um, have honor courage etc these things are important but not understood in this context which i will talk about and basically to face the reality of the death and it's also very interesting idea to look at it right to look at the life as a dream and death as awakening from the dream as well summarize essentially meditate about their death they constantly see death they are focused on it uh, they image the ways they can die so they live as if they are already dead and uh, it's it's um, it is it's what it is and the other interesting thing would be this that to give a person an opinion you must first observe whether that person is ready or not to receive your opinion that opinion i go observe that thing as well analyze that thing as well there is this uh, saying that the matters of, um, and I'm, not, I have not put it down, so I'm recalling it. Um, the matters of um, great concern should be taken lightly, and matters of small concern should be taken seriously. It's very interesting because, I mean, if you take the small concern seriously, you don't only really need to be that super serious uh, with that great matters, because you are already prepared essentially. Yeah, if we understand it this way, because you take these small steps, you're you are ready at your best because you took that small matters seriously and it's um really interesting uh, there is this um, observation the, about the the young lord that was uh, essentially was reading some sutra uh, and he could not read alone and he called other kids and uh, why like was started reading loud, loudly so they could hear as well so he was as i understood that story he was sharing the knowledge as which is a great thing, like sharing. Not he was not just reading loud, loud for himself. It was he decided to share, and the priests went there and you know liked the, his action because he started to share the knowledge, which is a great thing as well to share. And also there is this observation that when it's like heavy rain, don't run, just walk slowly. Either way, you will get wet. At last, enjoy the moment, which is um, something I've tried. It's my you know second time reading this book, and I knew about this concept. I had this um, heavy rain stuff, and I walked slowly. I still got wet, but it was different. I was, and I observed the people. I remember like very well, clearly. Like, I remember observed the people that were doing the mosaic. They were running clays, but they were still getting wet. And it's just very interesting, you know. This this thing. It's not like this is all better, but this ideology needs to be. This thing needs to be addressed. This thing needs to like have to address this thing. I have here. Oh, oh, this is uh, if one pers uh, one perceives a person's good point, he will have a model to share for anything. Yeah, basically, uh, the, the way I understood this thing is that you can learn from every person. Just observe, whatever. like observe these people, and you can learn. From every person, uh, look at their good points and learn their good points and ignore the rest. Essentially, take the best and ignore the rest. And now, overall, to look at this um, book, it's definitely one of those books you have to read. Um, and the the ghost dog, the way of the samurai, the movie, like really, really, very, very well shows the downside of this idea. Like, what is uh, What's when things really don't work out? Like, because master is human as well. Like, which has the same problems as anyone other anyone one of us has. And uh, yeah, I definitely would suggest you to read this uh, book and check the movie as well. Or check the movie and read the book later. Uh, you know, the book movie has uh, quotes and things as well from the Hakagure. And like overall, there are many uh, many stories. Um, 
here, which are some are really bloody stories. As in, I mean, most of the stories are like super bloody. And they talk about uh, he talks uh, not they but he talks about here about the, the the importance of determination to be determined and to be disciplined. This is the, these are the great teachings to be disciplined to be prepared. And there was this um, thing as well, which I kind of remember, like the great way consists in disregarding past and future as well, and look at this act in correct situation. I can't exactly recall this thing. And it was what the great way consists in. Essentially, uh, and at the end, there is some lines which I can read again, which I found interesting. Okay. A man who will criticize you openly carries no convince. Money is a thing that will be there when asked for. A good man is not easily found. It is a great observation. Walk with a real man 100 yards and he'll tell you at last seven lies. To ask when you already know is politeness. To ask when you don't know is a rule. This is repeat this yourself, to yourself. To ask when you don't know should be a rule. And this is the thing people need to take consideration. One should not open his mouth wide or yawn in front of others. Do this behind your fan or sleeve. I mean, and this, this uh, things here mentioned, um, this book generally, is a great book. There are some great things in this book, and I'll just address this uh, dangerous ideology. But it's not like you cannot take lessons and learn from this book. So don't don't understand that as if that if this book is not worth reading. But this is uh, I've told you things you should definitely pay attention and have in your mind while you read this book to be aware of uh, these things. And yeah, you will you have to. I hope you will check that movie as well because it definitely shows um, more things, which I don't want to spoil you, spoil you to, and tell you now. And yeah, like overall, this book definitely is one of those types that you have to read and observe and realize that it's also written in an idealistic way. It's a, it's a idealistic, and some of those things are simply not wrong, uh, not right. They're simply not right. Uh, essentially, are wrong and dangerous. And this is uh, the end of the book summary. I hope you enjoy the conversation. Uh, definitely. Share thoughts with me if you have certain points uh, about this book, what you think uh, about this social dark side of this Hakaku, so the way of the samurai expressed by Yamamoto Tsunemote, uh, Tsunemoto. What you think about it? Um, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't told. See you.